What up, y'all? It's your man, Ms. and Ms. Cool Cat County YouTube representing the birds. So we got some news. <laughs> I love it, and I hope it happens. So word is that the Philadelphia Eagles could move back up to the top 10 just to get Jamar Chase, Kyle Pitts, Devontae Smith, Jalen Wallow. I hope it happens. I really hope that it happens because here's what I would do if it was up to me. I would take a third and a fourth, Zach Ertz, and trade with the, with the Detroit Lions. That's what I would do. Take a third and a fourth, Zach Ertz, and move up to the first round and trade with Detroit Lions. I keep my 12th overall pick, and I keep my second overall, second round pick. But a third round pick and a fourth round pick, and Zach Ertz to the Detroit Lions. Done. You get your... Weapon of choice, and you get your defensive player. Now, that is what I would do. There you go. That's what I would do. A third round pick and a fourth round pick, and Zach Ertz to the Detroit Lions for their seventh overall pick. That's what I would do. And I would do it today. Right now, Howie. I would do this right now. Sure, you can do it in the draft. Sure, you can do it in the draft. But I would do it right now. I would do it right now. Because we don't know what Atlanta's gonna do. They could take a quarterback, they could take Kyle Pitts. We know the Dolphins could take Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase. Detroit Lions could take one of your boys if it happens. Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle. And you can't let the cat the Giants take Devontae Smith or Jalen Waddle. You can't do that. You can't do that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So, Howie, I advise you to do this now. Don't wait. Don't wait until the last minute, Howie. Do it now. Do it right now. Because according to reports, the pressure is on you. As you can see, the pressure is on you. The hot seat is about to be turned into an inferno if you don't get the job done. I would do it. Because like I said, Howie, the pressure's on you. If this team does not be successful, the blame will not be on Jalen Hurts or Nick Sariani. The blame will not be on Doug Peterson or Carson Wentz because neither one of them are there. The blame will be on you. It'll be on you, Howie. It will be on you. You know what, Howie? Damn, damn thing you can do about it. You can weasel your way with Jeffrey Lurie and say, please give me one more chance. Please give me one more chance. But Jeffrey Lurie will realize that it's not Nick Seriani's fault. It's not Jalen Hurst's fault. Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson ain't there. It's all you, Howie. Could have saved your job by getting DK Metcalf, who went to the playoffs twice. Beat us three times. 
could have saved your job by getting Justin Jefferson. A thousand yard receiver. Could have saved yourself. No. Mm -mm. Not Howie. Not Howie. This could be the final time we see Howie Roseman at the link and at the NovaCare after this season. Because if Howie Roseman don't get this draft right, if we does, do not uh, produce this season, you can best believe that this will be Howie Roseman's final season. Howie Roseman will not be drafting with those three first-round picks next season. Ours, the Dolphins, and hopefully the, the Colts. I want the NFC East. I'm not saying Super Bowl. I want the NFC East first. We'll get to that point when we get to that. I want the NFC East. Either how he gets it to me with the easiest schedule, with a dominant draft, or Howie Roseman's gone. It's up to you, Howie. It's up to you.